Hi, third graders. How are you? I'm Mrs. Swartz. I can't wait to see you all. I'm super excited for schools to start and to get to see you all in person. But I get a little nervous before the first day of school. Even after all these years that I've been teaching, I still do. So I found a book that I thought would be appropriate called First Aid Ditters. It's written by Julie Dannenberg and illustrated by Judy Love. Um, this is one of many read alouds that I'm going to share with you, both virtually um, through our Google Classroom site and in person. In person is my favorite. So let's get started. Dear, dear, time to get out of bed, Mr. Hartwell said, poking his head through the bedroom doorway. You don't want to miss the first day at your new school, do you? I'm not going, said Sarah, and pulled the covers over her head. Of course you're going, honey, said Mr. Hartwell, as he walked over to the window and snapped up the shade. No, I'm not. I don't want to start over again. I hate my new school, Sarah said. He tunneled down to the end. How can you hate your new school, sweetheart? Mr. Hartwell chuckled. You've never been there before. Don't worry. You liked your other school. You'll like this one. Besides, just think of all the new friends you'll meet. Just did. I don't know anybody, and it will be hard, and I just hate it, that's all. What will everyone think if you aren't there? We told them you were coming. They will think that I am lucky, and they will wish they were at home in bed like me. Mr. Hartwell sighed. <sighs> Sarah Jane Hartwell, I'm not playing this silly game one second longer. I'll see you downstairs in five minutes. Sarah tumbled out of bed. She stumbled into the bathroom, fumbled into her clothes. My head hurts, she moaned as she trudged into the kitchen. Hartwell landed Sarah a piece of toast and her lunchbox. They walked to the car. Sarah's hands were cold and clammy. Mine get like that sometimes when I'm nervous to yours. They drove down the street, couldn't breathe. And then they were there. I feel sick, said Sarah weakly. Nonsense, said Mr. Hartwell. You'll love your new school once you get started. Oh, look, there's your principal, Mrs. Burton. Sarah stopped. Oh, Sarah, Mrs. Burton gushed, peeking into the car. There you are. Come on, I'll show you where to go. He led Sarah into the building and walked quickly through the crowded hallways. Don't worry. Everyone is nervous at the first day, she said over her shoulder as Sarah rushed to keep up. When they got to the classroom, most of the children were already in their seats. The class looked up as Mrs. Burton cleared her throat. <clears> throat> class, class, attention please, said Mrs. Burton. When the class was quiet, she led Sarah to the front of the room and said, class, I would like you to meet your new teacher, Mrs. Sarah Jane Hartwell. Were you surprised at the ending? I know I was the very first time I read this story. I thought for sure that it was a third grader and not the teacher. Um, so I see that there's a um, somebody photo bombing me in the background, so I'll introduce you. Um, that is Cleo. She is our dog. Uh, she's a little puggle. Um, we also have a cat named Cleo, or named Chloe. Sorry, I do that all the time. Um, so we have Cleo the dog and Chloe the cat. Um, I can't wait to see you all. Um, for some of you, it will be September 8th. That's the A group, and September 9th is the B group. Um, all of you, I would like you to please go ahead and get logged into Google Classroom. Um, I sent out letters to your families uh, this week that you should have received by now um, with instructions on how to do that. If you have any issues or you need some help, don't hesitate to reach out to me, um, wurtzm at hopewellarea.org. Super excited to see all of you. I hope you have a wonderful last week of summer, and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye, guys.